applying machine learning to materials, uh, materials data, materials research is very important these days. Uh, you know, this field kind of really, you know, came into being about 10 years ago. It's all about learning from data, materials data. So we have a lot of historical data, both experimental and computational. And anybody who's getting started in material science and is looking to do materials design and discovery has to use data science related approaches at this, at this moment. It's just a much faster way of doing design. You know, the Edisonian approach wherein you go and test different materials, you know, until you find success is no longer the best way to go. So it is widely accepted that, you know, these uh, these ML data science AI related approaches are seriously the future, are the way to go. Autonomous experiments are the future and they are built on machine learning and data science. Now that's where this tutorial comes in. So we realize that, you know, a lot of people are using machine learning in material science, but a lot of people are still not. A lot of people, especially students, you know, beginner students, do not quite know, you know, what it is like and how easy it is to pick it up, uh, especially. So what we're trying to do with this tutorial is to give people a basic introduction. Here are the essential concepts. Here is, here is what you need to know, like the nuts and bolts, okay? It's very simple. You don't need to know all the theory behind it. Take these uh, codes, take these scripts, take these not notebooks that we have, apply it to your data set. Here are the basic concepts behind it. So anybody, any experimentalist, any comprehensive person, any material scientist can now take it, start using it for their problem. So that is, that is the idea. So I cover essential concepts of, you know, what are the types of machine learning uh, and the methods, specific methods like neural networks or other regression methods that, that you may apply, uh, classification methods, etc. And then I give a, a detailed example from my own research, which is on perovskites. So I present, I show people how you can visualize the data and how you can train simple regression models, how you can improve these models, then how you can use these models to discover new materials. Uh, in the next part of the tutorial, we cover uh, Gaussian process regression, which is a specific type of regression method, and active learning. After that, we are going to cover neural networks in some detail. Neural networks are their whole field. You know, they are, neural networks are used everywhere, like self-driving cars you know, are using some sort of neural networks, for example. So it's, a, it's really a whole day where we are covering a few essential concepts that we think are the most important. It's a very exciting field. If you don't do machine learning, I encourage you to get into it. I encourage you to read many of these review papers that, that are out there. And, you know, it's, it's very interesting.